Hi, welcome back to Cook Mama Cook. In today's video, I have an exciting one for you. I am part of an open collab hosted by Managing the Maze. I will link her channel down below as well as the playlist for all the other content creators. It is a sheet pan palooza. In today's video, I will be making a delicious, easy vegetable and scallop sheet pan on a bed of rice. Oh my gosh, so delicious. Watch how I make it coming up. I love doing this easy sheet pan for dinner. I usually do either scallops or shrimp or salmon. I always switch it up with the seafood and the vegetables always, you know, it's always a variety. But I, in this sheet pan dinner recipe, I will be using two kinds of peppers, green peppers, red peppers. I will be doing using carrots, asparagus, and then the scallops. I am cooking the rice, of course, on the stove top, have that going. Yeah, and I will just show you how I throw this all together. Let me know in the comments down below, do you love sheet pan dinners? And if so, what is your go-to? Okay, so my chopping skills are not the best. I'm not a professional, obviously. I am just doing this. I love to cook, and so I love food prepping as well. This comes along with it. You gotta chop these vegetables up. Sometimes I would use my food processor, but you know, you still gotta slice and dice before you throw it in the food processor. So I'm getting these peppers all sliced up, peeling the carrot, and then the asparagus, not much I have to do with it. Just cut the ends off because the ends are the toughest part. This is my sheet pan. I will be using really good quality. I'll see if I can find it and link it down below for you. I will be using parchment paper on top of it. Just makes for a very easy cleanup. So I am just using frozen scallops. They are wild caught. I got a big bag from BJ's. I am using, it says the serving size is three scallops. I am doing six for my daughter and I. My husband does not eat seafood or any meat. So this is just for um, me and her. And I thawed them out in cold water, in a bowl of cold water. So you have to pat them dry. They're all ready to go. I'm gonna season it up. And for the scallops, I'm gonna be using gluten-free panko breadcrumbs, mixing it with a little bit of melted butter and some seasonings, and then just putting that all over the scallops. Okay, 400 degrees for about 15 minutes. The recipe also says you can 
Also, after it bakes for about 15 minutes, then you just hit broil for about a minute or two, and that would really brown up those panko breadcrumbs on top of the scallops. One thing I love about doing sheet pan meals is that I always add a variety of vegetables and it's so colorful and pretty. It's like you're eating the rainbow and it's healthy and good for you. Yeah, and it's just fun to all put it together. Yeah, one of my favorite, if you need like an easy, quick meal, sheet pan meals is like the way to go. Okay, what I will add extra to this already beautiful, healthy, tasty dish is just a little bit of feta cheese and some baby spinach and some fresh ginger. Let me know in the comments below if you ever have tried ginger before. How do you like it? Do you like that spice, that kick to it? Do you usually cook it? Let me know in the comments. I am also going to top it with a little bit of coconut aminos, a great alternative to soy sauce if you want to have like a soy free diet. I highly recommend coconut aminos. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Let me know if you try out this delicious easy sheet pan recipe. It is what's for dinner. Thank you so much to Managing the Maze for including me in this collab. Don't forget to check the description box for a link to her channel as well as the playlist. Thank you. I will see you in my next one. Bye.